Happy New Year as you join Meridian live from Winchester Cathedral. Hello, I'm Debbie Thrower and welcome to 1993 and a double celebration. This magnificent cathedral was completed 900 years ago this year and your new ITV station, Meridian, has been on air now for a little over nine seconds. For centuries, this cathedral at Winchester has been a symbol of continuity and tonight we recognise the value of preserving all that's best. You'll see plenty that's familiar on Meridian and some exciting new ideas. Programs that give you a chance to air your views, that reflect the rich variety of different people's lives in the South, the Southeast, and for that matter, the Channel Islands. You'll find ITV is set to become more accessible to people. What's more, the region will be split in three. So for the first time, viewers in the Thames Valley and North Hampshire will have their own news service. And in each of those areas, based in Newbury, Maidstone and Southampton, you'll find familiar as well as fresh faces presenting the news. For example, I'll be joining Fred Dynage to present the Southampton-based programme. We'll be hearing from two of those new faces in a moment with more of Meridian's plans. But first, what about your hopes and fears? <laughs> <laughs> New Year, peace and goodwill to all man, no matter what colour, creed or race they are. What I want for New Year is an umbrella. A greener world. Glorious. Just peace and happiness. That's all I want. New <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> no fires. Good health. Lion. A house softy. <laughs> I would like peace in Yugoslavia. I was like Disneyland in England. Oops. I just want to be happy, that's all. And your house. Oh yeah, and I'll and find a house, house. So I want that as well. Yeah, I've got a baby on the way, so I just hope everything goes well. Oops. That my kids grow up into decent citizens. Oh, I know. God bless. Good, I'd like people to be less hopeless. I worry about them. Well, we share those sentiments, and here at Meridian's Thames Valley News Centre at Newbury in Berkshire, our hopes for 1993 is that viewers in this, the new Meridian region, will find our news bulletins, and particularly our six o'clock show, Meridian Tonight, absolutely irresistible. One of the most ambitious proposals in our franchise application was to create and develop a news service focusing on an area neglected by broadcasters in the past. From today, viewers living in a region stretching from Salisbury Plain to the Surrey Downs and from the Lambourne Downs to Winchester will get a dedicated news service. We spent more than £3 million building Europe's most up-to-date news studios. Work began in early summer and has continued non-stop to get everything ready in time for our first transmission later today. Robert Key, the Salisbury MP and National Heritage Minister, performed the inauguration ceremony back in September. Since then, our team of technical wizards have been installing all the high-tech equipment to bring you the very latest news, weather and travel. While I may be a new regular face to some of you in the South, my co-presenter, Mai Davis, is not. Meridian has worked hard to combine a fresh approach with continuity where possible. Another familiar face? There he is, Carl Tyler. He'll also be with us to give you the most accurate weather forecast for the region. Our commitment to this corner of central southern England is unrivaled. No other television company has as many journalists, camera crews or technicians based here. So we hope in 1993 viewers living in Meridian's new region will soon realise they're receiving the best seven days a week news service they've ever had. From all of us here in Newbury, it's a very happy new year to you. I'd like to see England win the test matches in India. <laughs> A little bit more money from the children. I want to get my degree. I hope to pass my exams. We're both hoping to have the new, first baby of the, the new year. A new sister. More babies. No, I don't need more babies. <laughs> <laughs> I have baby babies. My dad has come out of this recession. Long walks with my dog. Right, Vicky? Luck. <laughs> Leave <laughs> elephants alone. To marry the lady I'm with. I'd like all animal cruelty stopped. Happiness for my family and myself. I'd like to be tall. I wouldn't mind a new bike. Personally, I would like world peace. There's not much I want, actually. I've got what I have here. 
and I hope all their wishes come true. Welcome to a chilly Dover Docks. I'm Alison Holloway, and come Monday, I'll be sitting alongside Mike Debbins, bringing you all the news and your views in the southeast. There's good reason to be here this New Year's Day. Until just a couple of minutes ago, this was all the booze you could bring home from the continent, but from now on, you can bring back 88 more litres of wine, and over double the quantity of beer, about 110 litres to be precise, only don't drink it all at once. On the stroke of midnight, the trade barriers came down, and the routine customs checks were lifted. And to commemorate the first day of the single European market, the harbour boards handing out these souvenir packs to the first 1,000 passengers to pass through the port. Well done, Valerie. Thanks very much. Have a happy new year. Gone are the red and green channels, all the signs, well, they're going on the scrap heap. But is it a good thing? Will the customs officers be able to hold the line against the drug smugglers who may think that Dover's a soft target? And what about our poor off licenses here at home? How will their trade be affected by this booze bonanza? Well, they're the questions we'll be asking in the coming week on Meridian Tonight. But for now, one final act here at Dover, and that's to dismantle this exit barrier to allow this to become a gateway where traffic can pass. OK, lads, on the count of three, one, two, three, up it goes. The final barrier has been removed, and this New Year's Day, well, much will be done to warm Euro relations. But at this early hour, I tend to think some of us have been left out in the cold. <laughs> Thanks, Alison. Well, it's not exactly balmy here in Winchester, but it is extremely noisy now. It's about minus two, the temperature. Not that I'm complaining. It is seasonal weather after all. Just before we go, let me tell you that since we've been on air, congratulations are in order to Mother Kelly Inkpain, who has given birth to a lovely baby girl at the Royal Sussex County Hospital. Congratulations to her. Well, it just remains for me to wish you all a very happy New Year from all of us here. But the final word from the presenter of Meridian's first full-length program to be shown at 7 o'clock this evening. Like many of you and many people here too, he's enjoying a traditional New Year's Eve celebration. Oh, good muck, Laridian. Laridian. Good luck, Laridian, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year to Laridian. It's, an, it's a new company, isn't it? Uh, Meridian. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Meridian. A really happy New Year to you all. No, it's so exciting, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. Yep. Happy New Year. Congratulations, Meridian. Yeah, good luck. Good, good luck, luck, Meridian. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely. You sure? Good, good luck, Meridian. You can trust Meridian. These guys are funny. Trust me. Good luck, Meridian. Good luck, Meridian. Well done. That'll be extra.